Thanksgiving is one of those times where we get a chance to express gratitude and to express thanks for the things that we enjoy. However, oftentimes we tend to forget about being grateful throughout the year. This year, though, I wanted to do something unique with this episode. Instead of us doing a traditional sales episode where our podcast guests are sharing tips, I wanted to just talk to a few people, clients and friends and guests to hear from them what's something they're thankful for. You're going to love this episode. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald C. Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode, we have a remarkable episode lined up. It's Thanksgiving. Actually, it was yesterday. And today you get an opportunity to hear this episode. This show is designed to help you as a sales professional build pipeline and close more pipeline. Today, though, we're not going to give you tips on how we do this as a sales professional. We're going to give you tips on how to do this as a human being. We want you to be better. I got a chance to talk to a couple of my clients and also some of our potential guests and to get from them what are some things that they're grateful for from a human standpoint, not a sales professional, but just from the human level. It was pretty cool to hear their insights. And I wish I could gotten wish I could have gotten more from so many more of you. And I know that would make this a very long episode. But I I just want to tell you first off, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful that you're here listening, taking time to enjoy this podcast. And even the day after Thanksgiving, listening to us, it's just, a, I appreciate that. And maybe you're listening to this later on. But the point, though, is I just want to express my gratitude and also to help you to be more mindful of the things around us that we need to be grateful for. Now, there's a trend I'm going to point out, as you see from some of these guests. I didn't prep them in any way to tell them what they should speak about. I just told them, tell me something you're grateful for other than work. Um, and uh, or sales related <laughs> work. Some of them may bleed into work, but it's pretty interesting what they said. The first one you're going to hear from is Helen. When I spoke with her, she told me about uh, that, you, you know, Donald, this is not going to be traditional. And I'm like, okay, perfect. I want to hear this. And what she shared was pretty awesome. Now, I got a chance to meet Helen for the first time in our pre-interview, but I knew her husband and we were able to make that connection. And uh, he's a pretty cool guy. So Chris Beal, thank you so much for coming on the show. But listen to what Helen said in her remarks. My name is Helen Finucci. I work for Microsoft as a transformational sales leader. And what I'm grateful for is my husband. And I know that might sound corny, but look, I was a single mom for 24 years and I actually took myself out of sales because I had sole accountability for my kids and financial accountability. And I went into marketing and because of all of that, I am surviving and my kids growing up, I have um, found, I never thought I'd get married again. And I have found the love of my life and Gosh, my my life is so much better as a result. And so I am grateful for him every day. And he helps me be a better version of myself. Now, wasn't that sweet? Helen talked about her husband and it was pretty cool. If you got a chance to meet Helen and hear her journey for so long, she went through a situation as a single mom, went through her life and just, you know, was eventually found Chris and found love. And that's one thing that relationship is something she's grateful for. Now, for many of us, we have our loved ones around us and uh, she's a newlywed. But we need to make sure we continue to carry the newlywed situation, whether we've been married for 10 years, 20 years, or maybe we've been with our partner for six months or six years. Or perhaps you maybe you're uh, your family members who sometimes are around us and they don't get a chance to hear from us. Now, speaking about that, uh, the relationships is what I'm hearing as a trend. Listen to what Andres Escobar has to share about relationships and how this is something he's grateful for and how important it is. Hey guys, Andres Escobar here from Review Biz, and I wanted to share what I'm so grateful for. I actually have a grateful rock that I carry with me to remind me that even though I have struggles, there are things in life that I need to focus on, not on the negative stuff. And the one thing that I'm so grateful for is are <laughs> the relationships. Relationships that I have 
means so much to me, starting with my relationship with God, grateful for that, relationship with my family, so grateful for that, and then my relationship with my friends, that is so cool. And then my business associates and people that I connect with, people that, that share what we do at Review Biz, the people that just help us grow. And, and all these relationships do help us grow and become better. And that's why I'm so grateful. Thank you. Man, I love Andres' message. Uh, we need to definitely be more grateful for our relationships we have with our family and with God. And I'm grateful for that as well, for my relationships in those different areas. With uh, I'm a faith-based individual, so the relationship I have with God and also the relationship I have with my family. like Those are some top things, the relationships I have with clients. Again, the relationship I have with you. I'm connected with so many of you on LinkedIn, and I get a chance to hear from you. And it's just pretty neat. So thank you. Thank you for, for that. Now, going back to what Andres shared and what Helen shared there is a trend again the relationships is that's the trend i started to see with these guests one thing though that i want to make sure we share um to point out i i also host a podcast called be better it's by better homes and gardens real estate and the partnership that we do with them they uh, on one of the episodes we brought on a, ther a, a therapist and one of the things she shared was we should write a gratitude write notes to our family and it's cool to write those notes, but she said, go even further than writing the note, actually reading the note to them. Like, yeah, you, you might write a note, leave it for like your kid or for your partner, your wife, your cousins or whoever. But imagine taking that note and reading it to them. Like, the, you know, sometimes it might feel awkward when you first do it because you're like, hold on. I, you get squeamish sometimes when you get all mushy. Someone goes, <laughs> so, but, but imagine you just taking that thing, you, you're sharing this for, you're, you're reading this to your wife and telling her, you know, listen, I want to express to you how much I love you. I'm grateful for you and for how you know amazing you are with our family and the friendship that we have and for, um, you know, I couldn't imagine going throughout life without you. Like that, hearing you vocally say that as a, as a you know, as, as, a, as our partner is going to make her feel so much more uh, confident or as a husband, like, you know, and same thing again, vice versa of you to your wife and or to your, your husband as well. Um, if you're a female or if you're to your partner just in general like i just feel this idea is is uh is is a powerful concept and i highly recommend it now speaking about those relationships another one that i enjoyed was trent trent talked about um, some of the things that he's grateful for and it's not just like the the uh the family members but he spoke about the people all around him Listen to what he had to share. Hey, Trent Anderson here, head of publisher relations at Podchaser. This year, I am incredibly thankful to all of my clients who have entrusted us with taking a new step into this audience development landscape, repositioning ourselves, moving up market, but that's all work stuff. What I'm truly thankful for are the people behind the scenes and everyone's family life, especially my wife and my kids that allow me to work in tech and allow me to ride the waves and ups and downs of what's been a crazy 2022 and could be even a crazier 2023. So shout out to all the support systems that exist behind the scenes. So all of us can pretend to play business in, uh, in the tech world. So happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Listen, I love that. Um, and I, I would tell you like my team is like, this podcast is here today because of my family and my team. Like the people who are around me, sometimes you never hear about them. You don't get a chance to see them too much. You don't get a chance to hear anything about them, but they're in behind the scenes. But I just wanna give them a big shout out. Like my team does a phenomenal job and I'm super thankful for each of them. And I, I know for you as well, you probably have those situations where you have people around you who are quote unquote role players that no one get a chance to see. Express the gratitude to them, let them know and show them that you love them and you care for them. Now, finally, I got a chance to talk to Sean. And what I like about Sean's message is not only are all of these universal, but Sean shared something, you, something I found was unique. He said he's grateful for what he's grateful for. Actually, I can't give it away. Listen to what he shared. Hello, y'all. I'm Sean Doyle from Fitzmartin. We're a B2B consultancy and communication shop that helps people improve their sales and marketing operations. Donald asked me to think, like, what are we really grateful for? And I think kindness. We've just experienced so much kindness from our clients, our friends, our team, 
and uh, just would encourage y'all to celebrate the same and look for the same. It's a crazy world. And when you experience kindness, it is just affirming and life-giving. And that is what I'm grateful for. Kindness. Yes, kindness. Sean talked about kindness. And look at the divisiveness we've seen and, you know, across political landscapes and across the country. And, you know, for internationally, we have so much unrest going on with wars and all kinds of uh, things in the world and, you know, economic crisis and, you know, economic disparity and all of these different things. But being kind, like, that's something that doesn't cost anything. And we can do this, whether it's to somebody who believes different than us, somebody who looks different than us, or somebody who is uh, maybe was an enemy we don't I mean life is too short to go through with enemies like let's just squash those things let's express love and be kind be kind to the people around you let them know you care for them and be kind to the people you don't know who you interact with every once in a while but we need to have more kindness and i just love that what are you grateful for hit me up on linkedin you can see my stuff here um, if you're watching the video donald c kelly or on tiktok donald c kelly or on instagram donald c kelly and just tell me donald i'm grateful for it. just send me that message i'll be i would be super grateful to get that donald i'm grateful for it drop that message and i would love it thank you again for being here i appreciate you grateful for all of you subscribing to this podcast i hope you had a wonderful time with your family on thanksgiving and i hope you have a wonderful time to get a chance to relax for the this weekend Again, all that we focus on here at TSC is two things. One, helping you to build a better pipeline and help you to close uh, that pipeline faster. Thank you for being here. And I hope that we are able to help you today to become a better human being and to succeed in your sales role. As always, go out and do big things. Thank you. Thank you.